What is up guys, it's your boy Gonzo and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to restore the 808 like a boss. I don't know what that means, but this is basically a different way of distorting 808s compared to just drumming distortion on your 808 and calling it a day. I mean, we're gonna do that anyways, but in a different way. As you can see, I have this tiny, tiny instrumental. Uh, I only use sounds from my new drum kit, but it sounds like this. Now, the 808 isn't mixed at all. It's raw, as you can find it in the kit. And I'm actually gonna try to make it more subtle, yet still distorted. So, let's do it. As you can see, the 808 is uh, linked on the second mixer track. And as you can see, there's nothing on it. So, what I'm gonna do actually, first of all, I'm just gonna right click on it and then clone it. And I'm gonna move it all the way up to mixer track 10, just because I have nothing on it. You can move it in a way so they're sitting right next to each other but you know that's up to you and i'm actually gonna copy and paste the pattern from the normal 808 like this and now if you play both of them together it's gonna sound like this which is basically you know the 808 just twice but now we're actually gonna go on the first 808 we're gonna add an eq and we're gonna do a low cut like this maybe 150 hertz, something along those lines. And if we solo it, you only hear the sub frequencies, which means that now we can do a high pass on the other 808 and then distort it. That means we'll have the distortion on a different channel and then the actual bass on another channel. You can actually do this to combine two 808s or more if you feel like it. But right now we're just gonna use one 808 or two, but the same 808. As I said, we're gonna be adding an EQ and we're gonna try to basically do a high pass filter from where the low pass ends on the first 808. So kind of like this. We still have some bass frequencies left, but this doesn't mean you can use this as a standalone bass, you know, for your track. And now we're actually gonna add a distortion. Normally I'd use Camel Crusher because it's free, but it doesn't work anymore for some reason. So I'm gonna be using um, FabFilter Saturn, but you can do the same thing in Camel Crusher, which I'd use personally. Okay, so I basically just changed the tube from heavy saturation to clean tube on the mid section, and I slightly moved it around so it's it sounds more gritty. And yeah, this is how it sounds like right now. And now I'm gonna apply another EQ just to make sure that it doesn't bleed. And then we're gonna connect both of them and we're gonna have a notification. And we're gonna have a nice 808. And if you actually wanna go, you know, towards the experimental route, you can also add, um, I don't know, like a chorus. And now if you play both of them together, But it doesn't matter how it sounds like by itself, we still need to be able to listen to it with the whole thing. Now, if you can notice, some notes sound weaker than others. And this is a problem with distortion. It really depends on how the distortion is achieved. Correction, it actually depends on the 808 because some notes can be heavier in the bass compared to the others. So you gotta keep that in mind. So you still need to tweak some things until you're actually satisfied with how it sounds like altogether. Cause just, you know, making it, an 808 sound good by itself is easy, but then actually making sure that it fits in the mix with everything else is a bit more time consuming. But then again, at the end, it's worth it. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. You can experiment with a lot of things on the top part of the 808. I call them the, the dom and the sub, as you would in like sexual intercourse. So, you know, you can, you can look at it the way you want to, honestly, I don't fucking know. But yeah, if you found this video helpful, please uh, drop a like and let me know in the comments. And also, if you want to support me and use the same sounds that I used, including the 808, you can uh, get my drum kit, you have the link in the description. It was your boy Gonzo, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.